hello guys this is Saad and welcome to my channel so for the first step what you can try is that you can try to clear your temporary files so to do so what you can do is that you can click on the windows key on your keyboard and then you can type in run over here after typing in run you'll have to select the first option over here you'll have to type in temp and then you'll have to click on ok now you'll have to click on continue and you'll have to select all the files to select all the files you can click on Control A and then you can just click on Control D to delete them and for this you can just select do this for all the current items and then click on skip and now you'll have to again open run and now you'll have to type in hashtag sorry not hashtag or the percentage sign TEMP and then again the percentage sign and then click on OK over here you'll have to repeat the same steps Control A and Control D or you can just select all the files using your mouse and you can just click on this small check over here and then click on skip now you'll have to again for the last step you can just again open run and you'll have to type in P R E F E T C H and then click on OK over here you'll have to click on continue and then click on Control A and Control D again and then check this skip so now you can just clear your recycle bin just click on empty recycle bin and then yes and now your problem should be solved and your application should be working on the Windows 11 but if, still, if it's still not working I'll be showing you a final last step so for the second fix you'll have to again go to the search and then type in settings over here you'll have to now click on the settings app now you'll have to type in the search bar over here view advanced system settings and you can see the first option over here you'll have to click on this view advanced uh, system settings over here you'll see these options on the top you'll have to select on advanced and then you'll have to click on settings over here now over here from the top you'll have to select data execution prevention and then and you'll have to click on this turn on the EB for all programs and then you'll have to click on apply over here so you'll have to restart the computer after this and uh, if this doesn't work for you what you can do is that you can just click on add and you can just select the specific folder for you or the application which is showing the error so for example if I select um, you can just click on the small arrow over here and you can select the location and for example if you have the program on your desktop you can just click on desktop and you can select the application over here or you can just change the location from here you can select your different drive or C drive or D drive and you can just click on open and you can set the settings and then you will have to click on apply and ok so for me I'm not I'm not facing the error so I'm not selecting any application and this should fix your problem so if your problem still isn't solved I'll be showing you a few more fixes that should most probably fix your problem now you'll have to open search and type in REGEDIT registry editor and then hit enter on your keyboard there will be a prompt you'll have to click on yes over here you'll have to click on the small arrow beside ASCII local machine now on software and then Microsoft and now you'll have to search down or scroll down until you find Windows NT so as you can see over here Windows NT you'll have to click on the small arrow beside Windows NT and then click on current version now again just open it and you'll have to scroll down until you find Windows so here's Windows and now you'll have to click on it 
and over here you'll have to look for this load app in it you'll have to open it and you'll have to make sure the value for this is set to zero because if it's one it will give you an error and make sure just change it to zero if it's one and then click on ok for me it's already zero so I'm just gonna so for the next fix you'll have to go to your settings just type settings in your search and then you'll have to just go to the windows update at the last option over here you'll have to check for your updates and if there are any updates pending just click on download now and update your PC or laptop to the latest version so for me these are downloading now and you'll have to do the same so for the next fix what you'll have to do is that you'll have to just go to the program for which you're seeing the error you have to right click on it and then you'll have to click on show more options now you'll have to go to the properties and over here you'll have to click on compatibility and don't forget this is for the program on which you are facing the error I'm not facing any error and this is just for example I'm just showing it to you and now what you'll have to do is that you have to check this box and over here you have to select the windows on which you work on so for example you can select windows 7 and then you can click on apply and then you can close this this sometimes usually solves problems and another thing which I would suggest you to try is that to run the compatibility troubleshooter it can automatically detect issues and it should try to solve your problem so I don't have any issues so I'll just close this so for the next week what you can try is that you can just go to your control panel by typing it in the search and over here you can just re try to reinstall the program or the software which isn't working for you so for example Epic Games Launcher I'm facing an error so you can just uninstall it and reinstall it again or for some programs you'll see this option over here which says repair so you can try to you can try to repair it as this can solve your problem and if it's still done for solve your problem you can uninstall and reinstall a fresh program this would help to fix any issues with the program and install it to the latest version another thing you can try is that you can just click on view installed updates over here and you'll see your updates of the windows which you have installed and you can even uninstall them over here uninstall and this could fix your problem as sometimes the new version updates may have some bugs and by uninstalling them your software may start working again so another thing which I will suggest you to try is to just go to your settings and over here you'll see this option which says Windows Update and over here you'll see this advanced option over here so you can click on recovery over here and you can see this option which says go back and if this version isn't working properly you can go back to Windows 10 so for example if some of your apps or software were working on the Windows 10 and when you updated to Windows 11 they weren't working what you can do is that you can go back to Windows 10 and this should fix your problem you can just roll back to Windows 10 and sometimes that does work for people for the next fix what you'll have to do is that you can just go to the search and type in system configuration over here you'll have to select the first option over here now you'll see this option on the top right which says boot and you'll have to click on the save mode over here and now you can try if your software application is working or not now click on services option over here over here you'll have to click on hide all Microsoft services and then disable all services and now you can click on apply and now you can click on the startup option over here open task manager and over here you can remove all the softwares or I mean the processes which are enabled and you can just see if the program is working or not after removing them and this is just to check if it resolves the problem or not so you can just disable them by just clicking on them disable them and you can just disable them to see if it solves the problem and then you can enable and then you can enable them when you see your program is working 
after disabling them you can check if your program is working or not and if it's working you can enable them again so after clicking on apply it will ask you to restart your PC or laptop and after restarting your PC or laptop you'll be entered into safe mode and in safe mode if your program opens this would mean that there's something or a malware or a virus which is not letting your program or your software from turning on so to go back to the normal mode again what you can do is that you can again just go to your search and type in system configuration over here and open this tab over here and now you have to uncheck this box and then hit apply and then after this you'll restart your laptop or your PC and you'll come back to your normal mode again another thing you'll have to make sure is that you download the .NET framework Microsoft of the latest version and it is up to date you can download it from their official website so you can just select this from here from their original website and then you can download it from here and you'll have to also make sure that you have the latest version of your graphics card drivers you can select your model from here and your series and everything fill in the information search for your latest graphics drivers and install it and make sure that you fill in the correct information and it and check whether it is NVIDIA or your AMD drivers and for AMD also is similar you have to just check for your series of your graphics card and then just submit the information and you'll get your latest drivers software to download and you'll have to download and run it and I hope that will solve your problem another thing which I would suggest you to try is that to download malware bytes you can free download from the official website malwarebytes.com you can just click on free download and if there's any wires or any malware on your PC or laptop they should detect it and uh, disable it or remove it and if it's causing your program not to work and then your program will start working again and you can try this too so for the last fix what you can try is that you can just go to your search type in cmd over here command prompt and then you will see this command prompt you'll have to right click on it run as administrator over here you'll have to type in sfc space slash scan now and hit enter on your keyboard so for me i have to restart my laptop to gain access to this command but for you it should go smoothly as you can see it asked me to re reboot my laptop but for you it should fix your problem it will just have a check on your operating system and see if it's working smoothly or not if this video would have helped you do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel we'll meet in the next video till then peace out